Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this arrow. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with it, but it's a, it's a JPEG. So let's just look at it real quick. Got a white background. You could try tracing it, but it'd be a lot easier just to draw it. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to resample it to 300 dots per inch. I'm going to go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap, convert to bit black and white, hit OK. Go up to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art, which I use most of the time. It's going to ask you to reduce it, and that's fine. It takes just a second because it's pretty easy. There will just be two colors. Two colors, one curve, and then normally it's on top, but for some reason it's on the bottom this time, and it's pretty good. The uh, white ground, the white background is gone. It's a little bit rough on the edges. I would soon just draw it from scratch. It'd be relatively easy. So let's just take this and what I'm going to do, and I don't know if you have if you have to make it perfectly that size, but you could, and just kind of make a circle or a lip to that curve. And for the video, I'm not going to take a lot of time, but it was quite a bit bigger of a circle to get that curvature. Anyway, that's good enough. I'm going to hit P, put it at the center of the page, because I like drawing in the center of the page. Then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that. Holding down the shift key, I'm going to bring it in. And for the video, I'm not going to take the time to uh, make it perfect. Then just take a two-point line, holding down the control button so it's perpendicular, hit P. Now you could probably bring in this arrow just to see how long this um, whoop, grab my circle and um, a lot of times it might be easier to use the nudge distance we'll set the nudge distance to one two five we'll grab our circle well I did grab the circle I'm going to grab the arrow and that's close enough So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my two circles. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and select both the circles. And I'm going to move my circle. No, I'm not. Take it back. I'm going to move my line to about that. It doesn't have to be close to that arrow. And really this is going to be a little bit different, but Control D and rotate this guy. I just double clicked on it. Rotate that line. I'm going to take, and for the video that's good enough, I'm going to take my arrow out of the way and I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. So now I've got that shape. I can move that shape out of the way. We can delete all this. If you hold down the Alt key, you can select everything just by crossing over it. I'm going to left click, right click in red. Then I'm going to go down and get the arrows in basic or arrow shapes. I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to hold down the control button so I get it pretty even. I'm going to get the pick tool. I'm going to bring it a little closer. See how close we are. We're a little bit big. So I'm going to make this thing. My ratio is locked. I'm going to make it 98%. Let's make it 95% uh, of the size. Now, if you grab it right here, it ought to snap right to it. We're still a little bit big. Let's make it 94. You know what? Let's go ahead and make it 93. And you could, there's other ways to do this. And then just grab that arrow, put it right there. We're close enough for the video. Uh, there's a couple ways you could do this. But the, the smartest thing to do would just be to take a boat and weld them. That'll get rid of that line. And then you just take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in. Now we're a little bit, we've got a few nodes right there that might not be perfect. Let's see how close we are to the shape. We're a little bit big. 
Let's make it in yellow. And I don't know if he has to be that precise with what he had or he just wanted that shape. But you could always reduce it and then put it put it right on top of that black. See how close you are. Anyway, that's how I would do it. The tracing worked. But this is going to be a lot cleaner. You can see how pixelized the well, it's not even that bad, but it is pixelized. And you're going to come out with a, a much better product. Now you could try to delete these nodes and see if you get a little smoother action. As long as you didn't change anything, and we did. So let's just delete two of them. And we didn't change anything. You get a little smoother, we could maybe delete these two. And we didn't really change anything. So if that's what he wanted to do with that shape, there it is. You can control D and mirror it and have it like that. Select them both. Control D and mirror it that way. And then you could hold down the control button and move them down. Maybe even make them join right there. It's a pretty neat deal. Now let's just take this a little bit further. Just kind of play around. He didn't ask me to do this, but if you were going to use this, let's left click, right click. And all we need to do is take this and weld it. Now we've got a few bumps, but those are very easily taken care of with the shape tool. Just select them all and delete them. And even that one and that one. And now you have a pretty neat little symbol. You can even take it a little bit further. Control D and rotate it 90 degrees now if you're going to do that i would left click right click and weld them again and then you have a pretty nice shape so a lot of times it's a little easier to draw and get a little bit better look than just tracing it hope that helped him a little bit thank you for watching